Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be feeding you guys, you guessed it, 10 minutes of useless information about Thomas and Friends. So without further ado, let's get into the video. In a behind the scenes picture of Bill's model from the production of the second series reveals that the twins were to have numbers on their smoke boxes above their faces as they did in the Railway series. However, they were removed for unknown reasons once filming of the episode, The Diesel began. During the production of the first series, two 10mm CCT vans were purchased to be used as rolling stock. One would be built to the standard of the instructions without the torpedo roof ventilators, but the other would be converted into a flatbed with a vacuum formed plastic roof being used on the works unit coach instead, along with using the roof ventilators from both CCT van kits. In the season 2 episode, Save From Scrap, numerous amounts of plastic sprues left over from model kits can be seen in the piles of machinery and scrap. These green Nissan huts from Dry Ore Airfield that first appeared in season 1 of the show were not actually made for Thomas and Friends. Rather, they were made two years prior to the release of the show back in 1982 by Clearwater Features for KP Dry Roasted Nuts, the Crunch Must Go On TV commercial. Since Clearwater Features were responsible for the model production of the show for the first two seasons of Thomas and Friends, the huts would be kept and recycled, which technically makes them the oldest known props used in the show. Season 5 episode Duncan Gets Spooked is the only episode in the entire season to not feature a single standard gauge engine. In the German dub of the season 3 episode Bulgy, Bulgy the bus is referred to as Pfau, which is German for peacock. Um, Terribly sorry if I butchered that to my German viewers, but despite this, his original name is mentioned in the German title, while being the only time Bulgy was referred to as Pfau in Germany. The title of the season 11 episode Cool Truckings is a reference to the 1993 Disney film Cool Runnings. This episode is also the only one to feature the large scale lightweight model of Duncan, designed to sit on the back of Madge's model as the regular brass variant would be too heavy. A promotional picture from the season 7 episode, Peace and Quiet, shows Harvey with his unused 6th series angry face, which is the only time it has been seen in the entire show. The season 13 episode, Hero Helps Out, is the only episode from the entire season in which the main character is not actually a member of the Steam Team. The season 8 episode, Percy and the Magic Carpet, would be the last episode to feature the original 6 berth Tidmouth Sheds before being rebuilt with 7 berths in Cooling All Engines. It would also be the last UK episode where the title card is not read out aloud by the narrator. This rusted static fuel tanker seen on numerous sets in season 1 is actually a kit bash of a 10mm tanker kit, the same type of kit used for the tankers seen in the show excluding the custom made resin ones in the hit era. The wooden frames, wheels, axle boxes, buffers and couplings and other parts would be recycled for the destructible tar tanker seen in the season 1 episode Dirty Objects. A deleted scene from the season 9 episode Bold and Brave, shown in the book Thomas is Not Afraid of the Dark, reveals that James and Percy were originally meant to make cameo roles in the episode. Obviously this didn't happen as they are nowhere to be seen in the episode. The season 4 episode Toad Stands By is the only episode in the entire model series of the show to feature tankers with faces, which were reused from the narrow gauge slate trucks. The season 6 episode The Fogman is the last episode from the show to be primarily shot in the 4.3 full screen aspect ratio. The first time Naomi Shindo is part of the Japanese voice cast and the only time that Cyril is referred to by name until the 22nd series episode Samson and the Fireworks. The season 14 episode Merry Misty Island is the last episode to be dubbed in Welsh until the All Engines Go episode A Thomas Promise. It would also mark Harold and Captain's only speaking roles in the 14th series as a whole. The season 12 episode James Works It Out was aired before the 11th series episode Hector the Horrid in Australia and Canada, so the audience would not know who Hector is. This episode also aired on Milkshake before The Great Discovery premiered in the UK, so the audience may have not even known who Stanley or what Great Waters and are. What a mess. This seven plank wagon seen in season 1 has a vacuum formed plastic end piece on both ends of the wagon 
where it should only have a flat piece on the back and the front end should have the framing and riveting detail. It also, funnily enough, lacks the plastic wooden planking detail on the inside of the wagon as seen in this aerial shot from the episode Thomas and the Trucks. The reason for this would be because Toby the Tram Engine's model would source his wooden planking detail from the seven plank troublesome truck kits, so the crew just took some from this specific wagon to be used on him, resulting in a strange looking wagon. The wagon would never appear on screen again after season one. Wait a minute, does that mean Toby's technically a troublesome truck? Whoosh! The season 15 episode, Percy's New Friends, was the first episode written by Gerard Foster. It would also be the only episode in the season where Salty and Cranky would speak. Many structures built during the production of the second series in 1985 used corrugated cardboard elements. However, being cardboard, it managed to only last till season 5, until many of these structures were completely trashed when being sent to and from Canada for the production of Thomas and the Magic Railroad in 1999, and many corrugated elements after this point were plastic molds sourced from various retailers. Five 10 mil cattle trucks would be constructed for the second series of the show. The first four would all be painted the same with brown sides and ends, green doors and green roofs, except for the fifth, which broke away from Edward's train in the second season episode, Cows. This one had brown doors, a black roof, panelling along the roof and the ends of the wagon were different, with one end having only some of the plastic T-bar detailing and the other end having none. This was to accommodate the larger troublesome truck faces. Around the production of the sixth series, their original styrene roofs would be removed and replaced with custom brass ones. Gordon's Gage 1 Perspex model is technically the oldest engine from the model series still in one piece having been built for the Down the Mine pilot in 1983. Since Thomas's original Perspex model, also built for the pilot, would be stripped down for parts during season three when it was severely damaged <laughs> during the shooting of the episode Thomas Gets Tripped. With the original Marklin chassis and many parts being recycled into a newer resin copy of the original. In the season 17 episode No More Mr. Nice Engine, in the Estonian, Latvian, Lithuanian, Baltic Russian and one of the Vietnamese dubs, the UK dub can be heard in the background as a dubbing track was not used. According to the reference sheet from the hit era, the newest model of Timoth Sheds made for the model series is over 8 feet wide. In the season 19 episode Rocky Rescue, Rocky's line, I love it when a plan comes together, was a line which was regularly used in the action television series, The A-Team. I love it when a plan comes together. Sometime after the production of the second series of the show, in 1987, several of the Gage 1 engine models would be pulled out of storage for photo shoots. This would be where Thomas's new smiling face made for season two would gain painted teeth as his open mouth had previously been left in grey primer like the rest of his face. The photo shoot would also mark the last time we'd ever see the original green and cream express coaches with grey roofs made for season one before they would disappear and never be seen on the show ever again. Although Duke's model would never appear on the show again after season four, N was repainted dark brown and given a new face during the production of season 5, which was one of Smudge's old faces, with the intention of turning it into Bertram's model, the model would be reverted back to Duke in 2004 around the production of series 8. However, it was painted a lighter shade of brown in matte over the gloss the original coat was in, and his buffer beam was not painted red since photos of the updated model in its new coat were used as reference material in the merchandising department. This livery is present on Duke's Trackmaster and Wooden Railway Toys, released in 2009. All right, I think I'll wrap things up here. Thank you all so much for watching and making it to the end of the video. I'd like to thank Asodor Life for the video idea too. 
I'm considering making this into a video series. Potentially, a 20 minute version or even a 30 or 40 minute version could be possible in the near future. So make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the vid and would like to see more content like this. So until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.